it's Danny, and today I have my foundation routine. Now this routine is something that I do when I want a flawless, full coverage look. So if you want to see how I do my foundation, then please keep on watching. So starting off with the most important step in my foundation routine is moisturizer. And it doesn't matter what type of skin you have, even if you're super oily, because if you don't moisturize your skin, it will look really flaky and dry. So moisturizer is like your best friend. Next I'm going to prime my face and I like focusing my primer on my T-zone area which is my cheeks, my forehead, down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Okay so now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using the CoverGirl 3-in-1 with my Sigma F80 brush and what I love about this brush is that it buffs my foundation in flawlessly and it gives it a full coverage finish. So I like to start off by placing my foundation on areas that have a lot of redness and then I go ahead and buff that all in and if there's still some redness peeking through after I do that, I go back and add a little bit more foundation to those areas and then I always make sure I blend my foundation down my neck because your face and your neck should be one color. Now time to apply some concealer and hide the fact that we are up all night and didn't get much sleep or maybe that's just me. So I draw an upside down triangle underneath my eyes and then I blend it in and I always wet my beauty blender with Max Fix Plus but you can just use regular water, sink water works just the same and yeah I like using the very sharp point, not sharp but the pointy point, the pointy point, I can't talk guys. I like using the pointy end to get in that inner corner and really brighten it up. Then I run any excess I have left over down my T-zone. Next we are going to set that under eye concealer. I'm using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush and this is going to help our concealer stay in place and not crease throughout the day. So this step has to be my favorite part in my foundation routine. So I'm starting off by taking the Naked Shade from the Urban Decay Naked One palette and I love this shade to contour my nose. I find that it works really well with my skin tone. So I'm drawing two lines down the center of my nose and then I'm taking the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush and this brush is going to help me blend out those lines. Next I'm going to be contouring my face and to do this I'm using my NARS Eta brush and this brush, you guys, is so amazing. It literally just gets the job done, and ever since I bought it, I haven't used any other brush to contour my face, so I'm pretty much obsessed with it. And I'm placing my bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks and then blending it out. I also like to contour the sides of my forehead, my chin, and my jawline. Now time for some blush. Oh, and don't forget to check out the description bar below because I will be listing all the products that I use. So I'm taking my Sigma Blush Brush in F10 and I'm lightly tapping this on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it back into my bronzer. And then taking my Sigma Large Powder Brush in F20, I'm just going to blend everything out and make sure that everything blends together nicely. Now using that same brush, I'm going to set the rest of my face, but I mainly like to focus the powder in my T-zone because that's where I tend to get oily. And this powder is gorgeous, it's so luminous, and it helps keep my skin looking hydrated and not all dry and powdery. Next I'm going to highlight my face, and I love doing this because I feel like it adds this really pretty healthy glow to your skin. And to do this, I'm using this brush that I got in a set from Costco a long time ago. It was for my first brush set ever. So anyways, I'm highlighting my cheekbones and I'm also going to highlight down the center of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And now that I'm done with my face makeup, I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. And lastly for the lips, I'm going to line my lips with this dark nude lip liner and then I'm going to fill it all in. So while I was filming, an oldie Taylor Swift song came on that used to be my jam, so 
As you can tell, I don't just sing when I film, I basically perform. So if you can guess what song I was singing, then leave a comment below. So anyways, I'm topping off this lip with this dark nude matte lipstick. And the very last step in my foundation routine is to set my face with a setting spray. And here is the finished look. So that was my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. 